Hello, and welcome to your virtual in-service for draping the MM51 microscope. When draping this microscope, it is essential that you follow your included one-page guide for the correct strap placement. Remember, it is possible to butterfly the binoculars up or down after draping the microscope, but not to rotate them. Please ensure best binocular position before draping the microscope. At the beginning of the draping process, the directions included on the drape will indicate that the binocular slot should be pulled out immediately after unfolding the drape. This step is imperative for correct positioning. When affixing the Velcro straps to the eyepieces, you will notice a cuff. Ensure that the Velcro straps are on the side of the cuff closer to you, further from the microscope. The main goal for the placement of strap 2 is to place it securely around the blue metal ring. This will improve the movement of the scope once draped. The fit for strap 5 should be somewhat loose or the strap will become undone when the microscope is moved. It is now time to place the rubber bands. Start with the hand grips. After securing both hand grips with doubled over rubber bands, move on to the eyepieces. Once the main eyepiece has been affixed with a rubber band, take all the extra plastic that is underneath near the front lens and pull it up into the rubber band. To activate the vacuum drape, Simply press the vacuum drape button on the microscope control panel. To be sure the vacuum drape is functioning, test the exhaust port for the movement of air. Now that all the straps and rubber bands have been secured, it is necessary to test the movement of the microscope. Rotation and movement along the X, Y, and Z axis all should be fully functional. It is important after draping for the plastic to be tight enough to stand easily under the horizontal arm without compromising sterility. The final task when draping this microscope is one of the most important. If the lens cover is to remain on during the procedure, it is imperative that the thin plastic film covering it be removed. However, we recommend that the plastic cover be removed completely before surgery. This ensures the highest optical performance of this microscope necessary for super micro surgery. Thank you for tuning in for this virtual in service. Please feel free to reach out to your local Mataka representative for any further clarification of these instructions. You can also always reach us directly at info at